How to Overcome Failure 9 Golden Rules By Humdard Teach You may think that, why do I fail every time? Why did I not succeed even after so much hard work? And questions like that. Well, here is the game changer guide that can help you in overcoming failure and move ahead. I hope this video will add value to you. How to Overcome Failure In this video, I will talk about the plus point of failure and how you can overcome it and can get success. 9 Golden Rules of Overcoming Failure Rule number 1 Embrace Your Emotions In comparison to failure, it is the emotion of failure that kills you from inside. You have to embrace your emotions. Failure doesn't mean everything has ended up. You should not come into depression, stress and you are drained out emotionally. Embrace yourself by saying, it's okay to fail. Rule number 2 Taking it as part of life When you fail, it's important to remember that failure is a part of life. It's not bad, we learn from it and grow from it. We can't always control failure, but we can control our response to failure. Failure isn't the same thing as mistakes or losses, they're all distinct phenomena that require different strategies for coping with them. A mistake is an error in judgment or execution. It's something you did wrong that could have been prevented with better planning and preparation for your goals. For example, if you failed at cooking because you didn't follow the recipe correctly. A loss refers to something lost through no fault of yours. Rule number three, reject the idea of avoiding it. You probably know that failure isn't a bad thing. But do you truly understand this? It's time to get real about failure and see it for what it truly is, an opportunity to learn, grow, and succeed. Failure shouldn't be avoided at all costs because it could mean the difference between success or mediocrity in your career. The next time you face a setback like getting fired from your job or being turned down for an award nomination, or anything else, remember that failure shouldn't be feared. Instead, it should be embraced as part of life's journey towards success. Rule number four, accept the right level of responsibility. For example, there is a team working hard and despite hard work, all failed and we failed to achieve what was planned. You are the single person who blamed yourself for everything which is wrong. Accept an appropriate level of responsibility that everything happens not only because of you but because everything is interdependent in your life. Therefore, you don't have to take the entire burden of failure upon you. You need to take responsibility but in a responsible way. Not everything is because of you, not success nor failure. Rule number 5, there are no sure things in life. In life, there are no sure things. There are no guarantees. You will fail at some point in your life, there is no way around it. The sooner you accept this fact, the better off your chances for success will be. This isn't to say that you should give up on everything and just stop trying. Rather, it means that if you want to succeed in life and work hard enough, then failure is something that needs to be considered as a natural part of the learning process. Failure isn't something to fear. Instead, it should be seen as an opportunity for growth and improvement. When we fail, we can learn from our mistakes and become better people because of them. Rule number six, be honest with yourself. You should be honest with yourself about your own failings and think carefully about why you feel that way. It is important to understand the cause of your failure, as well as what you can do to fix it, how to prevent it from happening again in the future, and if needed, and how to use your failure as an opportunity for improvement. Rule number seven, acknowledge the positives of life. In addition to the great advice you've read in this article, there are several other things you can do to avoid becoming overwhelmed by failure. One important step is to acknowledge the positives in your life and career. It may seem counterintuitive to seek out the positive aspects of failure, especially as someone who has just experienced it firsthand, but it is an essential part of overcoming that failure. If you don't look for the positives, if you only focus on how bad things have gone and how much work needs to be done going forward, then defeatism will set in quickly. It is easy for a person's spirits to sink when they become too focused on failures rather than successes, or even just accomplishments. The key here is balance. We need both success and failure so long as they are balanced appropriately. Rule number eight, no one is a failure all the time. You are not a failure all of the time. This is something that you need to keep in mind. No one is a complete failure all of the time, and if you beat yourself up over every bad result, it will be difficult for you to recover from your mistakes and move on. It's important that we recognize that failure is a part of life, and while it sucks when things don't work out as planned or hoped for, it doesn't mean that we're failures as people or at least not always failures. I know, that sounds like a contradiction. In fact, if anything good comes out of failure, it's usually learning how not to repeat those mistakes again so they won't happen again. Rule number nine, face your fear and move forward. 
Failure will be there in your life, but you have to overcome the fear of failure. If you don't take this challenge, you will not move forward. You have to say, it's fine. Every failure, every action must have a move forward plan. You have to ensure that you implement these nine golden rules exactly in your life. Learn from these rules and you need to implement these daily again and again in your life. If you do this, you will for sure grow very fast in your life without fear of failure. You will be clearly aware that failure had to happen, but you have a nine point framework and you will know what to do now. Final words. If you're feeling like a failure, know that you are not alone. And if this is how you feel often, it might be time to seek help. You don't need to suffer in silence. There are people who can help you deal with these feelings and change the way they affect your life.